Now, the slant route versus press coverage, especially if you're the outside receiver. Now, if you're the number two receiver in the slot, it's good to just take one jab and just cross his face. But if you're the outside receiver, you must work your feet, jab hard at the defensive back's outside foot, and get back vertical to push into him so you can have more separation at the top of your route once you stick and run away from him. Okay, now let me talk about what the defensive back is doing. He flashes at the receiver. You see that? This is a technique that uh, defensive backs use to try to get the, the wide receiver to just to, you know, stand still for a little bit longer to throw off the timing, right? And so you can see his left foot is planted in the ground. Now, as the receiver begins to try to release up the field, you can see that he releases in an angle. See that? Now, because you know this stuff now, who does that benefit? It's a lot of receivers that can get open um, when guys run in zone because there's all spots and open holes in zone coverage. But getting open versus press man-to-man, -man, you have to have a knowledge and understanding of